are we gonna focus good morning happy monday i'm obviously fully ready to go it is 10 o'clock in the morning five past to be precise and i'm about to film a couple of videos because i find monday is like my most productive day so that's when i get the most done so i've just had the biggest bowl of cereal you've ever seen in your life i bought these like little version of honey loops you know the like um cheerio honey ones and they're really good so i've just demolished a bowl of those and i'm about to film three hauls back to back so i'm probably if i'm honest gonna stay in the same outfit i can't really be bothered to get changed and i don't think you guys really care that much if i'm wearing the same thing in each haul i'm having an issue with teeth today they are very very sore i changed to my ninth out of 14 aligners on thursday i think i don't really know i meant to do it on sunday and i kept forgetting like literally every single day i would forget I think it was Wednesday or Thursday I changed it and it's so sore like normally when I first change it I do it in the evening so that they like hurt overnight and then in the morning they're a little bit painful and then they're kind of fine because um, obviously when you first put it in that's the initial move but these ones didn't really hurt when I first put them in and now oh my god they are suddenly so sore and I don't know why but today they're like really really sore and I've noticed that my bite has changed so I can't shut my teeth in the way that I was shutting them for the last couple of weeks like I can't put these back teeth together in the same way that I used to, which is completely boring to you. Um, but I'm enjoying them so far. It just This is the first time they've been really painful and it's because this one's moving. Like, that's the one that took the longest to move. But I'm gonna stop talking about my teeth now and I'm just gonna film some videos because I've been talking for five minutes. I feel like I'm coming out of the light. It's just getting brighter and brighter every second. But guys, I've done it. I've edited two videos and I've filmed three and I'm feeling good. I'm feeling productive and I look like Deirdre Barlow, but I feel productive. <laughs> I'm also starving. It's six o'clock and I've been in the office literally all day. So I'm going to head downstairs and make myself something to eat because I had soup for lunch with a bagel and then I had some nuts and a calipo and it's not quite hit the spot. So I'm going to go get some more food and probably veg out on the sofa to be honest. But um, our, our Wi-Fi has actually just gone down, which apparently is like a, a country-wide thing because my friend just texted me and said hers has gone down as well. So I don't really know what's going on there, but it means we can't really watch... Actually, we can watch TV, can't we? We just can't watch like Netflix or anything. Yeah, so our old TV, we literally streamed everything through Amazon Prime, like the Fire Stick. So if the internet went, you literally couldn't watch TV because it was all through the internet. But now we can watch something at least, so that's good. Okay, my other camera's just died. My computer has completely crashed and won't let me do anything. How do I? Okay, everything's just having an absolute mess. but I thought I would quickly show you something that I ordered in the post the other day. In the post, I ordered to be posted, but it's something that I think a lot of you might enjoy. And I'm also gonna show you two other parcels that came that are really exciting and nice. So let me just pop you here, cause it's in the cupboard. I need to like fully open it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Right, so I ordered, let me put you on here. I think that's a better place to go. Can you see my address? No. So obviously with doing at home workouts and stuff and I'm really getting into like my fitness bits at the moment. I've been desperately looking for some kind of at home weights because obviously like body weight is great i think body weight is fine it's an easy way to like still do fitness but for me the one thing that stopped me from doing at home workouts is because i didn't feel like i was benefiting enough as i was when i was in the gym and obviously lifting weights and like doing all that kind of stuff just makes you feel a bit stronger and it makes you feel like you're doing a bit more so basically i have been on a hunt for a really long time for some kind of weight and as you may know if you live in england i don't know what the situation is like in other countries but buying any kind of fitness gear or anything online is impossible at the moment because everyone's buying weights and buying treadmills and bikes and all kinds of stuff and everything is just selling out to the point where like it's on pre-order till may which obviously now doesn't seem like such a big deal but when it was the beginning of april waiting a month is quite a long time so i looked on ebay the one day and by chance happened to come across a like convertible like dumbbell barbell set which i thought was pretty cool because basically you can have it as two dumbbells so like you lift as dumbbells or you can like put it as one big pole and use it as a barbell and i thought that was a pretty good idea because it means that i can like use it in so many different ways and 
I'll actually get like multiple use out of it rather than having to buy a barbell and dumbbells and like loads of other bits. So I don't know what it's gonna be like. It cost me about 60 pound on Amazon and it was meant to take two weeks to turn up and it arrived like three days later. So very impressed, but I literally can't wait to use it. And that sounds so sad, but I literally am so excited. So it comes with loads of different little disc weights. So you've got 1.5s, 1.2s, and I believe there's twos in here somewhere. There's like just like yeah, there's twos at the bottom. So there's loads of these little like disc weights. And then you obviously just like, depending on how much you want to lift, you put them on. And I got 20 kilograms worth of weight. So I can obviously like, I mean, if I'm doing like deadlifts and stuff, I normally do like 10 or 15. And I normally only use like four or five kilos on each arm and stuff anyway. But I just thought it was a really good idea. And realistically, this is like the perfect amount of weight for me to keep going at home. The only thing I would miss and need like more weight for is things like doing like machine work and stuff. But obviously that I'm not gonna be doing at home anyway. I'm just gonna be doing like shoulder presses and squats and like that kind of thing. So I'm very impressed. I think this is such a cool little set. And I love that like, they're so easy and small because you can literally just stack them up and put them onto these and then like just lift away, you know? But I'm gonna put all of this away in the cupboard. I'm just, I'm so impressed. Like I'm literally so impressed. The fact that you can literally just like slot this all together is, I mean, I don't actually know how it goes together. I'll have to like fully, I mean, yeah. So that's kind of like how long it will be, which I mean, that's not too bad there was a girl using it on the picture and it looked like it fit nicely over her shoulders so i think it should be fine but i'm gonna put this back in the bottom of the cupboard along with all my other workout bits which live there and then i'm gonna quickly show you the other bits i've got to show you because i got a package from fenty which is really exciting and another little package which was like sent from heaven because i was complaining about needing it and then it turned up so let me just quickly put these away how perfect so they literally just fit on this little ledge which is so great so i can put those in the corner and then i've got my mat and stuff there which need to go back a little bit and then all my clothes can fit in nicely so you can barely actually i mean you can see it's there obviously but it doesn't really take up any space so that's really handy i really like that and then obviously if i do put the dumbbells together i can just pop them down there moving on let me show you the fenty bits oh god i'm just falling over hang on <laughs> Let me put them up here because I feel like this is the best place to show you. So this is the kind of release. So it's the new cream cheek blush and bronzers, which I am literally living for. I think it's such a good idea. The colours look insane. I have to admit, the one thing about Fenty I really like is their branding. Their branding's always just so good and the packaging looks incredible. So this is some of the products. So here we have Diamond Bomb, which is an all over diamond veil. I just love the packaging. It's incredible. Okay, what does this look like? I'm trying to do this one handed and it's very tricky. Maybe if I do this, there we go. I'll do that and then I can show you a bit easier. Oh wow, okay. I don't know if you can see, this has got like little flakes of, you can kind of tell-ish, but it's got little like flecks of copper in it. So pretty. So this is called Cognac Candy. Oh my God, look at that. Oh my god, you can't even see this, but like, can you see? I don't know if you can actually see on the camera. It's so sparkly, oh my god, I love it. That's like the perfect thing for summer because it's just so beautiful and shimmery. I love, I've never actually tried any of their, I mean, okay, so I've tried bits from Fenty, but I've never really tried anything like cheek or face. I've tried, what have I tried? I've tried the Pro Filter Primer, which I use all the time. And I've tried like the eye products and the lip products, but like base wise, I've never really used anything. So I'm very excited to give these a go. We've got a body lava here, which is an illuminator. And it says silky sublime shimmer, dewy ultra lip finish. And this, whoa, this is cognac candy as well. And I'm assuming this is more of like a glow. So like, I'm guessing you kind of like put this on and it gives you like a little subtle shimmer, which is really pretty for, again, if you're on holiday or something, but also like just for a bit of something, you know, like if you just want to give your like collarbones a little dust and like the tops of your shoulders and stuff, it's just like that nice little shimmer. Then we have like hundreds of the same. So I'm not actually going to show you all of these in this video. If you want me to do another video with these, I'm more than happy, but let me know. There is like 7 billion of the cream blushes. So we've literally got, I think, every shade here. 
Oh my god, we literally do have like every shade. So we've got Pop in Petal, da Daiquiri Dip, Drama Class, Summertime Wine, Fuego Flush, Strawberry Drip, Rose Latte, Cool Berry, Crush on Cupid, and Bikini Martini. Okay, I'm gonna show you Pop in Petal because I think that's the one I'm most likely to wear out of the collection. So this is what they look like. So these are the cream blushes. I love the font they've used and like the holographic. I think it's really cool. I love that it kind of just looks handwritten. It's really nice. So obviously this is shade number two, Pop in Petal. And they look like this. So they literally are like creamy products. You can kind of see the slight gloss on it there. And they look so pretty. Ooh, I like. They're really nice payoff and they're really silky as well, which I love. I always smell products, is that really weird? But they look really nice, so if you want another video on them, let me know, because I'm more than happy to do that. Then we have these two, which are Macchiato and Butter Biscuit, which are the Cheeks Out Cream Bronzers. So I'll show you Macchiato here. So this is the bronzers, which are in a slightly different packaging. So I kind of like that the cream blushes are smaller and white, and then these ones are like the opposite. So where that one had the kind of chrome writing and the white, this is like the opposite round. And this one is the butter biscuit, which just looks like so. Honestly, so cute. I love that they have these full size mirrors in each of the little compacts as well, because I think it's really handy for when you're like on the go and stuff. But how stunning. I love these. They're so nice. Thank you so much, Fenty, for sending me these. I honestly can't wait to try it all out. And then we also have a face and body kabuki brush, which looks like so. Then we have this face shaping brush, which... Do you know what? I actually use Fenty, um, what are they called? Beauty blenders, and they're really, really good. So I'm excited to give these a go. I also love the kind of sleek design of these. They're like, I don't know if you can see through the cellophane, but they're kind of like a matte product with the little, like, pink... I don't know, I just love, I love. And then the other package came from a PR that I work with, Ellie, and she had watched one of my previous videos and saw me talking about the fact that I was nearly out of my blonde Batiste. So she topped me up and I'm very grateful for this. Thank you so much, Ellie, for topping me up because I really, really need it right now. But this is basically one of their um, Hint of Colour ones and they come in blonde, brown, and black and I believe there's a redhead one. I'm not 100% sure, I might be wrong in that. But it basically like, instead of being just normal dry shampoo where it's white, it kind of like tints your hair slightly. Like it's kind of like a blonde powder. So it just makes your roots look, look, not look as offensive, which I love. And when I've just had my hair dyed, I find that it looks insane. And obviously as it starts to get longer and longer, it just kind of, I mean, let me see if I can show you. I mean, you can kind of see, ish. Like, okay, I just put way too much, but. You get the gist of what I'm, what I'm saying here. It basically just makes, <laughs> I mean, it actually just sprayed way too much because I'm not looking in a mirror, but basically you put it on and then you like massage it a little bit. Same as you would with normal dry shampoo, but it just gives you that little tint. Um, and it doesn't go all over your hands, which I quite like, but yeah, I don't know if you can even really see right now, but that's basically what it is. And it's really, really good. I promise. I actually use it all the time. It's my favorite one. And then she's also topped me up with some Femme Fresh. Again, great product. If you haven't used Firm Fresh before, I strongly recommend. It is great. It is very good for your nether regions. It's like zero, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, it's basically just really good for you. So there's no fragrances or anything and it's 100% soap free. And your pH balance of your down there is different to the rest of your body. So you actually should use a different kind of soap. And I really like this, it's really gentle. And then I've also got some Firm Fresh wipes as well. Thank you very much, Ellie. <laughs> And now we're gonna attempt to get back on with some work if my computer is working again, but I don't really know what happened. It just kind of crashed. So when I do like try on bits, I always have to like rotate the clips. So like so, if it shows you, I mean, it's not even loading now. Here we go. So when I film them, they come up like this and I just have to rotate them and then they have to export and the exporting takes a little while. So, oh, what are you doing? So I just have to wait for that to do its thing and then it saves and then I import them all and then I use the footage. But I film them like this because I just personally like it, but also I can't really fit my camera in any space in my room the other way around that looks nice. And it also means I can use it for Instagram if I choose to. So that's also a bonus, but a little behind the scenes for you. I have to sit and do this for every single clip. This one's quite a long one. This is the gym one that I put up the other day. I'll leave it linked, but it's quite long. Oh my God, you can see my disgusting feet tan. Oh my god, no. You can see my hideous feet. You girl needs to scrub off the tan.